back. Now, India's largest public sector lender, State Bank of India, has revised its interest rate on home loans with effect from today. As against the separate interest rate structure it had for women and other home loan borrowers, now a uniform interest rate structure on home loans will apply irrespective of the loan amount. Now, for home loans up to 75 lakhs, the rate has been fixed at 10.10% per annum for all borrowers, women or otherwise. And for loans above 75 lakhs, the interest rate now stands at uh, revised at 10.15% per annum. This is effectively a cut of 5 basis points on loans up to 75 lakhs and a 15 basis point cut on loans over 75 lakhs. With this in the backdrop, let's also talk about how to smartly manage your home loan liability. Nobody feels like a true owner of the home until you pay off your home loan. So today, let's look at what it takes to foreclose or prepay a home loan before time. We're joined by Adil Shetty, founder and CEO of BankBazaar.com. Adil, welcome to The Property Show. Uh, now, people who've been Hi, paying Rasulda. their, um, who, who are going through their home loan for a couple of years now, uh, finally experiencing some financial stability in their lives, in their jobs, uh, and they're now thinking about foreclosing their loan before time. Uh, for them, first of all, does it even make sense to think about prepaying a loan? Uh, what does it entail? Uh, so I think, uh, you know, a home is always a, a, a very big investment and people do take uh, home loans to finance it these days. Uh, I think if one has access to uh, cash, uh, you know, it's always an option to prepay your home loan. I think the important thing to check is whether uh, the home loan has any prepayment fee uh, on it. Now, in the last few years, uh, you know, the RBI has removed prepayment, but some of the older home loan agreements still have some prepayment clauses in it. So step number one, check to see if your home loan agreement has prepayment or not. Uh, and if you have access to uh, liquid cash, you know, do consider uh, prepaying your home loan. So uh, what would you say, Adil, which is the smartest way to foreclose a loan? Do you uh, start making partial prepayments, you know, uh, at various intervals? Do you reduce, do you increase your EMI amount? Do you reduce your loan tenure? Which should be the smartest route to foreclose your loan? I, I think uh, if you're looking and you've decided that you want to foreclose your loan, right, the partial repayment uh, method is uh, probably the wisest. So, you know, whenever you have access to excess cash, either because you've gotten a bonus uh, or you've got a sign-on bonus or things like that, you can always consider doing a, a, a partial uh, prepayment uh, on the home loan. All right, so we're talking about those who've actually made the decision, made up their mind that they want to foreclose their loan. For those who are still in a dilemma, they've received a sudden surplus uh, amount of funds. Uh, they're looking at whether should they invest in some kind of tax saving investments or should they go ahead and foreclose. So if you compare the two, which is more, uh, you know, where, where are you in a more advantageous position? Where do you get better returns? So I think this is the... Yeah, yeah, I think this is the decision one needs to make, right? So you have access to a certain number of certain amount of funds. You know what your home loan interest uh, uh, payment is. So if you feel that, you know, uh, you have, uh, you know, a place where you can place this money, where you'll make a higher return, I think it's a decision people take. But I think it's a, it's a personal call one needs to take, taking into account, you know, what is the interest rate you're paying on your home loan? And is there somewhere else that, you know, you want to invest? Uh, wherein, uh, you know, you think you'll get uh, better returns. Uh, another thing is that, you know, when you do have a home loan running, uh, you do gain the ATC uh, tax benefit on it and the 24G. Uh, while if you prepay your home loan, right, you potentially won't avail of that tax benefit the next year. So I think all this needs to be taken into account and then, you know, one, one takes the call. Uh, I think if one has decided that they want to, uh, 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 you know, prepay their home loan, uh, then they can proceed uh, 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 with that process. Uh, I think one thing which is also important is when you do close out your home loan, uh, what are the steps you then need to take? You know, there's a checklist one needs to follow when you do close your home loan. Uh, and that, that is something we should also discuss for the viewers. Okay. Adil, can you share that checklist with us? Uh, what are the essential do's and don'ts? Yeah, so uh, it's a five-point checklist uh, which you need to uh, follow when you do decide to close your home loan. So first of all, I think when we're at that stage, uh, congratulations. You know, you've taken a 20-year home loan and you've paid it off, so the house is yours. So that's fantastic. So the five-point checklist is as follows. Uh, one is you need to collect the original documents, all of them from the bank. 
So it's important that uh, you make a note of all the originals that you've handed over uh, uh, to the bank and that you make sure that all of them are collected back. Secondly, we also advise that when you do collect the documents back, actually go through the documents to make sure that they're full and complete. Uh, no pages are missing, everything is in order. So do actually go through the uh, documents one by one to make sure they're full and complete. Thirdly, right, uh, it might make sense to get a no objection certificate from the bank saying that the home loan has been paid off in full for your records. Uh, fourth, right, uh, sometimes uh, banks register a lien in the registrar's uh, office against the property. So you probably want to make sure the bank removes uh, uh, the lien if in case it has been registered. Often it's not registered, but in case a lien is registered, you want to make sure it's removed. Uh, and lastly, you know, a couple of months down the road, follow up with the credit bureau uh, and make sure that, you know, they've been updated that your home loan has been paid off in full. So that's the five point checklist uh, we advise when closing a home loan. All right. Uh, Adil, you also spoke about uh, RBI's directive advising banks not to charge any foreclosure or prepayment penalties. What is the industry practice right now? There are also some kind of um, terms and conditions that up to 25% of the principal, you don't pay any penalty. Uh, what is the current practice? So current practice, Vasudha, is that since the RBI gave out its directive, right, there's no prepayment fee uh, on the loan. Uh, however, if you have a contract which is five, six years old, uh, you might have a clause concerning this particular matter. So uh, if you're taking a new home loan today, right, uh, the current industry norm is that there is no prepayment fee uh, on the home loan. However, for older home loans, you should do exactly what you said, right? The condition saying you can prepay up to 25% a year and so on and so forth. So you actually need to go through the home loan agreement to make sure that you've understood it uh, correctly. All right. Uh, Adil, uh, on this subject of home loans, we also have a viewer query. Uh, Nisha Chaturvedi would like your advice. Uh, Nisha wrote us this email saying, uh, my father has a plot of 60 square yards in Jaipur, but it ha has not been approved by the Jaipur Development Authority yet. My father cannot afford enough money to construct a home. So can, they, can, the ba can any bank offer us a home loan to construct a house on that piece of land? Uh, Adil, clearly a case right. of What's not that, I think, clear title. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. I think there are two questions uh, uh, in this. Let's uh, handle it uh, uh, independently. One is about a construction loan, saying if someone wants to build uh, on an existing plot of land, will a bank give a construction loan? The second is if the uh, land is not approved, right? So the quick answer to the second part of the question is if it's not approved, the bank will not fund it. Now, there are multiple reasons why the land could not be approved. It could be common panchayat land, it could be agricultural land. So I think what she needs to do is to check why the property is not, why the land is not approved uh, and then follow up with the uh, uh, development authority to see if she can get it approved. But if it's not approved, typically, right, no lender will finance it. Um, however, the other question in terms of construction loan, right, that is something that banks do provide. So if you do own a, a plot of land and you want to construct your own house, you go in for what's called a construction loan. Typically, banks will fund 70 to 80 percent uh, of the construction cost subject to it being less than 80 uh, percent LTV on the cost of the property, on the market value of the property. So if in case she does get the property approved, then she definitely can go in for a construction loan uh, for about 70 to 80 percent of the construction cost. Okay, so Nisha, that's uh, the advice there. Um, if the land is not approved, you won't be getting any loan from a bank. You need to visit the local authority offices, the Patwari, figure out why that land uh, does not have a clear title, what are the encumbrances on that land, and, um, and then go ahead with your property uh, transaction. All right, Adil, thank you so much for joining us today with those expert inputs.